Our next building is going to have a triangular floor plan. To do this, let's create a polygon plane either from the shelf or create polygon primitives and plane. And there we go. Let's switch to the channel box and in our inputs, polyplane one, select our subdivisions width, subdivisions height, and middle mouse button, those both down to one. We're going to switch into vertex mode. Ah, you can see that I still got symmetry switched on. So in the modeling toolkit, let's switch symmetry off. And now I can just select that front vertex and delete it. Just zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to just switch into phase mode. There we go. And then we're going to press extrude. And I'm going to left click up to a height of 5.5. I'm going to press extrude again because I've still got that top polygon selected. And I'm just going to use the scale tool here just to eyeball and move a new inset and then press extrude again to add a little bit of extra detail to the roof. Now that we have our roof detail on our building. Let's, in the outliner, rename this to Triangle Building. And let's add a Lambert uh, material by right-clicking. Oh, just do it so we can see in the viewport. Switch ourselves back into object mode. Right-click, assign new material, uh, Maya Lambert. Pull that out, we can see Lambert 3, let's rename that to Triangle Building Lambert. And let's set the color to white. So we're going to add some window, windows to this geometry and we're going to use edge loops. And we do this by going to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop, and here we can see our tool settings are available for our edge loop tool. And here is the icon, just like in Cinema 4D, we've got an active icon for which tool is being used. The tool settings currently are correctly set up. Um, we could do relative distance, but for this, multiple edge loops, uh, number of edge loops, 25, autocomplete, fixed quads, and then we just click on an edge. And there you go. You can see we have our 25 edge loops set up for us, which is great. I do love the edge loop tool in Maya compared to Cinema 4D as we can preview the cuts and it just feels nicer. So I'm just going to click outside the geometry to deselect the edges. And now I'm going to switch to edge mode and I'm going to switch to edge mode. Oh, still got my edge loop tool selected, so undo that and just go back into the select tool. Great. Okay, that's what we want. So now I'm going to select that edge and then shift select and that selects an edge loop all the way around in Maya. And now I'm going to do that for every alternate edge loop up the side of my building or double click. There you go. Double click, double click, double click, double click, double click. And finally. Now I'm just going to move these edge loops up using the W tool. And that's great. Now, there's two ways to do this in Maya. We could just do it in the way that I've done with the W tool, but the best practice way would be in Mesh Tools, Slide Edge tool down here and then we can just drag with our middle mouse button now I'm just going to double click on each of the vertical edges so we have each of our vertical edges selected and now back in the modeling toolkit and we're going to press the bevel which works similarly to the extrude tool and here I'm just going to set a slightly narrower width, say about 0.2, that's great. We can now select our windows, so I'm just going to 
switch back into face mode. And then here, there we go. With shift pressed, I can select. What I've done there is I haven't selected that. So I'm just undoing my selection. And there we go. Shift pressed, shift, double click, shift. We go. We have all of our window areas selected. And as before, let's just make a new material, assign new material. And this time we are going to have another fong for the specular materials and the materials fong2. There we go. And what we are just going to call this triangle window. Let's choose a darker blue. Shift it over a bit. That's great. So we can now just hide this using Control H. And let's start on our fourth tall building. 